Hi there, my name is Melody Hickey and I'm an off-site trainer at Golden Quest. And here with me today, who is apparently loving his crate, is Cisco, tattooed in NI1. And Cisco is a nine-week-old comfort retriever who's been with me, working with me for a week now. So we're just starting to solidify some of those basic commands that we're going to show you today and then we'll talk through some of his other training. He has been a little bit picky about his treats today. Um, he didn't want to work for his usual treat, so I am using a little bit of a higher value chicken treat for him. So we'll see if he uh, complies with us this morning. Okay, Cisco, come. Yes, good boy. Stand. Yes, good stand. Good job. Sit. Yes, good boy. Good sit. Cisco, down. No. That's not what I asked. Down. Yes, good boy. Good job. That was very nice. That was very nice. Okay, come here. Come here. Cisco, touch. Good job. Good boy. Good job. Okay, come here. all the way in this week. Sometimes he um, likes to keep those little paws out because he's not quite sure yet. So we're warming up to the crate and he's doing very good with that. Cisco, come. Come here. You do the same. Yes, good boy. Good boy. So um, he's doing great. He, he's feeling a little bit lethargic today. So he normally has a little more energy. But as far as his obedience is going, he's doing really well. He's learning very quickly. Um, and as far as his potty training goes, he's doing pretty well there. Um, we keep him on a consistent schedule. So about every hour to two hours, I'll make sure he goes outside and goes potty. Um, he's had actually very little accidents inside the house. He's kind of easy to read when he has to go, which I'm grateful for. But, um, when he does go in the house, it's usually a poop and not a pee. He's pretty good about holding his pee. Um, even at night. I've noticed um, I'll take him out in the morning and he'll empty his full bladder, which is awesome. Um, he does sometimes tend to go poop in the crate at night, so that's something we're working on. Um, and what I'll do is if I hear him whine in the middle of the night, I'll take him outside to go, but I won't show him any sort of attention or affection. I'll just stand there and kind of ignore him until he goes, then put him right back inside the crate. And that sort of lets him know, hey, this is not ideal. This is not when I want you to go. Um, but it also communicates you need to be going outside and not in the crate. So as far as falling asleep at night, he's doing pretty good with that. Um, it does take him a little bit to kind of settle down. The first few nights um, he cried for a while. Now he's kind of settling down after about 30, 45 minutes of barking. Um, so I try and, and use some techniques to help settle him down. I've been putting some peanut butter and the Kong in there with him at night. This week I might try some sort of white noise or sleep machine to see if that helps him as well. But after he calms down, he does great. Um, he usually sleeps through the night with maybe one or two breaks. I usually get up with him around six or seven in the morning, take him right outside and then give him his breakfast. So that's kind of his routine. What are you doing, Sweepy Cisco? Are you taking a little nappy? My goodness, what a baby dog. Yeah. So he is so sweet and he's so cuddly. He would just snuggle all day if he could. Um, so he's been a real joy to work with for even a week. And uh, we look forward to working with him more. So, Cisco, come here. Come here, bud. Do you want to do a few more things? Come here. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Cisco. Cisco. Can you give me a look? That's nice. We're still working on look. He still needs a little bit of blurring on that, but he's coming there. So, good boy. Good job. All right. We will see you guys next week.